Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here, and today I will be covering the lore and damage stats of all of the guns in the game. So with no more delay, let's just get right into this. Starting off, we have the pistol. The pistol is known in lore as Type 75 Protector Pistol, and is based off the similarly named CZ-75 pistol. It fires 10mm ammo, which is going to be the most common ammo in the game, as well as being the first weapon we acquire in the game. Going over to damage, testing reveals that the pistol will do 12 damage per shot in survival, 30 damage per shot in normal, and 40 damage per shot in casual. If you were to data mine, data mine reveals that it has the following stats. 10 damage, 90 hurt chance, 5 critical chance, 0.4 cooldown, 1 reload time, and 10 mag size. From here we can move over to the next weapon. The shotgun, which is a simple pump action combat shotgun with a collapsible stock. It is known in lore as the EIN-12 Flechette shotgun. It fires 18.5mm flechettes from a 5 shell internal magazine in a wide cone. It is most likely based off the SPAS-12. It is also the signature weapon of Sieben and the Storches in general. Going over to damage, shotgun damage based off the number of pellets that hit an enemy and where they hit them. This makes testing quite difficult. However, for testing, I went with almost point blank ranges, what damage we'd be looking at because that's really where you should be using a shotgun. Generally speaking, at this range, the shotgun will be doing between 25 and 30 damage in survival, 40 and 60 in normal, and we'll be doing around 80 damage in casual. Data mining reveals that it has the following stats. Damage 40, hurt chance 100, critical chance 80, cooldown 1.2, reload time 2.934, and mag size 5. Next up we have the revolver, a short barreled double action 6 shot revolver that fires 12mm high power ammo. With high recoil and strong knockback, it is known in the lore as the EU K508S Einhorn Revolver. It's based off the Chiapa Rhino 200DS. The revolver Elster uses is specifically originally Star Hunters, and we acquire it from the shooting range. Aside from just Hunter, the entire Star Corps seemed to use this weapon. It should also be noted that acquiring this weapon rewards you with the Einhorn achievement, which reads Rule of Six. Going over to damage, revolver damage goes as following in testing. 30 in survival, 50 in normal, 100 in casual. Data mining reveals it has the following stats. Damage 25, hurt chance 100, critical chance 15, cooldown 0.6, reload time 2, mag size 6, mag ammo 6. From here we have the flare gun. The flare gun is a single shotgun for firing 26.5mm emergency signal flare cartridges that incinerate targets. It can be repurposed as a grenade launcher instead if one desires. Known in war as the LP265A Lechiot Pistol Flare Gun, it is inspired off of the Diana Work 26.5mm LP2 flare pistol. The flare gun has two different forms, the first being when firing normal flares, the second being when firing off explosive rounds. Starting with the normal flare gun, this weapon deals an initial blast of damage and then does burn damage over time. Testing reveals its damage to be 18 initial plus 5 burn in survival, 30 initial plus 5 burn in normal, 70 initial plus 5 burn in casual. Switching over to the HE flare gun, known in the code as the flat gun, it deals 60 damage in a radius on all difficulties, with damage decreasing based off distance from center of radius. This one was really hard to test because it is really inconsistent, but that seems to be the most accurate answer I can give you guys. Data mine showcases that these two guns, having mostly the same stats, um, and those stats read as follows. Damage 15, cooldown 0, reload 2.5, mag size 1, mag ammo 1, full auto 0, burst size 0, burst speed 0. However, the flare gun has 100 in her critical chance, while the flat gun has 50 in the stats. Um, a lot of people believe, though, that these data mine stats do not tell the entire story of what is going on with the flare and flat gun because both the flare and flat gun rely on other mechanics to do the majority of their damage. Next up we have Issa's Gift, the rifle. A large bore double barreled hunting rifle that fires armor piercing 16mm Nitro Express ammunition. The recoil is described as being strong enough to break your shoulder. 
This rifle is easily the strongest weapon in the game, with its armor piercing rounds being able to punch through both Star's shields and Mjaina's armor. The rifle was originally owned by Adler, however Issa stole it after stabbing him, and then after we wake up Issa and get the gift achievement, she gives it to us. It is known in game as the BW5 Nitro Express Rifle. Now let's get into its stats, testing reveals it does 80 in survival, 160 in normal, and a manic 200 damage in casual. It should be noted that armor only blocks or does not block damage, meaning armor piercing shots do full damage to the target behind the armor. In practicality, this means if you were to take in casual a rifle shot at a Mjaina, you would one shot it regardless if it had its armor raised. Data mining reveals the following stats about this rifle. Damage 80, hurt chance 100, critical chance 30, cooldown 0.6, reload time 3.1, mag size 2, mag ammo 2. Finally, we have the last normal gun in the game, the SMG. This is an automatic submachine gun with a collapsible stock that fires in 3 round bursts of 8mm compact ammo from a 30 round magazine. We obtained it from the desk of the blockwork Calibri who ordered it prior, and it is known in lore as the Type 84 Drake submachine gun with its ammo being known as the Wichon 9 Compact 8x22mm ammo. It is also the final gun we acquire in the game. Looking at its stats, testing reveals it does 8 damage per shot in survival, or 24 per burst. It does 13 per shot in normal, or 39 per burst, and does 40 per shot in casual, or 120 per burst. Data mining will reveal the following stats about it. Damage 10, hurt chance 30, critical chance 3, cooldown 0.5, reload 1.8, Mag size 30, mag ammo 30, full auto 1, burst size 3, burst speed 0.1. However, there is still technically one more weapon in the game, that being the cut machete that I made a whole video on in the past. I'm not going to spend a lot of time here on it, but this weapon does do 10 damage on all difficulties if it makes contact with the enemy. So that's all I've got for you today. Various weapons and their damage stats are something that at least to me was quite interesting to learn about. Special thanks to Kirk once again for helping gathering the data mine content and data, you're always a big help, and I appreciate you. If you'd like to see the data that I gathered for this video in an organized spot, I have added this data to the weapon wiki pages which I will have linked below. Speaking of links, if you'd like to speak to other Signalis players or myself, I have updated the links for my discords in the description, so if they weren't working prior, hopefully they should be working now. This has been Christopher Beast, I hope you guys all enjoyed this. And if you'd like to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe, like, or leave comments. I try to read every single comment. I, I try my best, but it's really all I've got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed, and well, I hope to see you all next time.